Welcome to the Gumball series in its entirety. This has been drawing one character, Gumball, on the same piece of paper every day until it breaks. As we know, the paper didn't exactly break, but this is gonna be a behind the scenes while you watch the videos, and I'll explain why the series has to end and everything in between. So first, let's take it to the beginning. Now at the beginning, I thought, hey, I finally got my hands on these Posca mop markers. These things were really hard to get in the US and Posca is very popular on the internet. So I thought, wow, I could use these things to maybe draw, maybe get a viral video, something. I have what, five colors? It was red, pink, yellow, green, and of course blue. So when it came to blue, I was thinking, let's use that color and let's draw gumball, why not? When it came to drawing Gumball, I did the first paper, and at that point, while I was doing the voiceover, I was thinking, okay, I could draw this over and over again, that'd be fun. I've done something like that before with Bill Cipher. And I then thought, what if I draw on the one piece of paper every time, repeating it, destroying it, repeating it, et cetera, et cetera. So that was the wild idea, it came to me pretty much on a whim, and it got the whole thing going. And it was a great start. So many people loved the series right off the bat, and there was that anticipation, that natural anticipation of how much can this paper withstand? And as we got through it, it was really fun, it was really exciting, really engaging. I had a lot of fun making them. I had a lot of fun making them throughout the series, but at this point, maybe like a few in, I was realizing, and I think you might realize too, that the paper was basically just getting stronger. And that was a lot of fun where people were commenting like, that paper is stronger than rock. Literally, YouTube commented twice on my videos. The YouTube, it's crazy. It was a lot of fun at that point and it got just a little bit less of that anticipation though. That was kind of a trouble point for me. And the reason why is because it sort of then became an act it was like a staged thing and I was saying, I'm gonna keep drawing until it breaks, but I knew it would never break unless I broke it myself, which of course I did do. Now, let me get into that. The reason why I wanted to cut it and wanted to end it was because it was sort of just ongoing series. When would it ever end? So I didn't know myself if it could ever end. And I wanted to then branch away and do other things. A little bit about me, right? I have been drawing for like five years or so, making videos on YouTube for a bulk of it, but drawing some before that as well. And through this whole point of my career, I have many times changed and wanted to do something entirely different. Now, most of it is an evolution and I've always done fan art. I started out doing fan art, but in this period over the past year, I want to do more art that comes from a area of self-expression and actually means something more to me. So that way when I'm done with it, I'm thinking, wow, this is cool. Like I'm really happy I made that. And then maybe somebody wants to buy it, maybe they don't, but at least I know through the creation and the self-expression, it meant a lot to me. So looking further back too, I started drawing on skateboards on a whim. And now I draw on skateboards a lot. And then I wanted to use the gumball series and segue into a skateboard, so I did. And that did really well. It was a cool series in its own right. And somebody bought the skateboard, which was awesome. So if you want to check that out, you can find it. But it was a good transition. But then people still wanted to see the Gumball series. So it wasn't like it was a good clean cut. <laughs> so when it came to that period, my views were going down. And I thought, oh, like, oh, well, like, that's OK. Things happen. You, they go up, they go down. But when I decided to say, okay, I'm just gonna cut it, I'm gonna end it, because I thought if I end it, then at least people will know it's over and you can just choose to follow me for other reasons. And if I lose followers, that's okay too. I really don't have any gripes if I have super low views or no followers, but it's tough when like too many things start stacking on top of each other. And that was kind of happening. This is just, you know, into my brain here, so you can understand my crazy things. Now, I decided to cut it, I put the video out, it got a little bit of views, nothing crazy. And then I was like, okay, cool. Like some people are saying, good for you, good for not <laughs> taking a series, you know, forever, you know, good for you to do your own thing and to keep chasing your own goals. And that's really a big part of this, this whole thing is that you, me, we all should focus on trying to chase our own goals. Like, what do you, you really want with YouTube and with TikTok and Instagram and all these things? 
they give you these goals. They literally give you a plaque if you get to 100,000 subscribers. They literally give you one if you get to a million. They give you a lot of their goals. And for me, I found that same thing happens on TikTok, the same thing happens on Instagram. And the more that you chase those numbers, the less it's everything, the less meaningful everything else is. So just that's a common theme for me that I need to keep expressing to myself is that I need to do my own goals. So that's why I'm here, why I'm talking to you. Now, as we move through that low period of views after cutting the video, then it just spiked in popularity. Popularity went really viral like crazy. And at first I was like, oh, good. Like people are seeing that I'm done. And then they're seeing the skateboard video and they're thinking, oh, I'll follow for that because I was getting lots of followers. And that went on for a few days. And I then realized what was happening is that video was going viral because it was like shocking content because I end the series. Some people had never even seen the series and they were seeing that video for the first time. People were having a high watch through rate and people were watching that video and then clicking into my other videos and boosting the algorithm. So then I also am seeing about literally 2000 or more comments of people just saying no in all caps. And that was got me divided and I thought, Oh my gosh, like I didn't mean to like upset my fans who were really excited about the series. Uh, you know, what do I do? Like I literally broke it. So that got me in a feeling of like that stress and, and everything else. And then some people were like, you know, see ya, I'm gone forever. You know, that kind of hate for hateful comments. I mean, there was worse than that, to be honest, but I'm not really stressed by the haters per se, but there were definitely some haters. <laughs> so I thought, you know, what the heck? Like, I'm not above this. This is, I could literally piece it together. So I did, and I could run the series out for longer so that people are happy. And I enjoy making videos. Like I love drawing. I have not drawn my whole life. So a lot of what you see on my channel is my progression in art. So I hope that that's something that's interesting to you because that's just what it's going to be. And you get to see it on play in real time. But with this, it was like being stuck in that repetitive. But I thought, you know what? I like making videos. I like sharing it. And I thought, let's just keep it going. So we kept it going for a little while. And at that point, it was again, the same things happening. Like, so what if I gain more followers? So what if I gain more views? The real issue is not just about views and followers, but about long form content. Here it is cutting, by the way. So dramatic. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty dramatic take. Sorry about that. But when it comes to the longer videos and YouTube, there's YouTube shorts over here and there's YouTube long videos over here. And for the most part, they kind of exist separately. And for me, a big thing on YouTube, I mean, I grew up watching YouTube. We all mostly do. And only recently has it been about shorts. But for me, that seeing that long form video and creators making longer videos, that's what got me into making videos. And then, you know, TikTok came around, et cetera, et cetera. So for my channel, I did not see a increase on the longer videos. I didn't put out as many, but I did put out some at the past couple months. And for the most part, my longer videos and everything across my channel, if I get a viral video, everything raises up, all the views go up. That was cool, but that was kind of tricking me into thinking I was actually doing right for my audience and doing right for making cool content long form. Now, my, one of my goals is to make longer videos. That's why I'm making this one. I want to have an opportunity to have a more of a dialogue where you get to know me better. You understand why I'm creating things or I'm making just cooler stories. I have a bunch of video ideas planned and they're going to be longer effort. They're going to be cooler art. I'm working art on the side. Like I have taken two different types of lessons for art and I want to express myself more. Also, maybe it's about making you think like these short videos, you watch them for 15 seconds, you scroll past, you might not even think about it the next day. We've all been there. But when you sit down and watch a longer video, you're engaging in a way with, I engage with the audience better. I see these really long, thoughtful comments and I love them. I respond to most comments everywhere anyway. So that's been a lot of fun. So that's why it's a bigger goal of mine. Now, why I'm ending this thing at all, well, hopefully it makes a little bit of sense, but for the most part, I do want to make longer videos and I have to put my time somewhere. I have to take away something like I have to sh almost like shut a door myself so that I can open another one. That's where I'm at. All that said, 
I knew I wanted to end the series, but I didn't want to just cut it off and just stop one day, right? So I started in the series asking and saying, you know, what do you think I should draw next, et cetera, et cetera. And also saying, I'm going to end this series, I need to. So I wanted to give fair warning so that people don't feel like they got cut off for no reason. I just ghosted them. So I did that and here's the last video and I'm going to just hang this up on my wall for now. And does that mean that the Gumball series is gone forever? No, it doesn't. And that's kind of the good part about it. And when it comes to me and creating, I really hope that you'll be interested in some of the longer videos. And if you're not, that's totally fine. But I have to try. Like, that's a big part of it, too. Like, I really have, when I have low points, I think, what's the point of trying? I see my buddies in art stop art because they think, what's the point? And it's very challenging, not only to be an artist, but then also a creator. It's tough to do both because it takes a long time to make art, takes a long time to express yourself, takes a long time to make a video and edit it, etc., etc. So here we are basically at the end of the series. I hope you stick around. If you do, I think it's a cool story. You get to watch my art change and you get to watch how I create videos change. And hopefully it's for the better and it, it it's just a better story. If I just dropped out and was gone, and start it all fresh or something, that'd be kind of lame. So this is about progression. This is about a longer arc and it's all connected in a way. I mean, it's me, <laughs> it's you, you're here. So I appreciate everybody for watching. I mean, some crazy stats too, before we go. This series, I gained like 2,000, 200,000 and 261,000 followers just from the Gumball series. Probably lost a lot too, but that's okay like 152 million views and almost but not quite almost enough revenue to put three kids my three boys through private school not quite so we're working on it but i do have some cool stuff planned i'll give you a little teaser for my next video right now okay this is a skateboard this is bigger than the average skateboard and it's a nice one got the wheels and everything so I'm planning a big video for this and I got to show them off one last time here I'm gonna be posting this video about the same time I do my short video this guy's all warped he's been through a lot I'm gonna replace SpongeBob put him on my wall thanks everybody see ya